Hey, so you want to compress an image to make it smaller so that you can load it up onto your website or somewhere on the internet. So it will load up quicker and if it's on your website it's not going to slow your site down because it's a big heavy image. You know when you sometimes you land on a website and it takes forever to load? That's often because the image hasn't been compressed. Okay, you don't need to get any special software for that. All you need to do is go to tinypng.com and you have this cute little panda guy here. And then all you need to do is drag your file or upload it into the little box and watch the panda. Yay! So this file was, wasn't particularly big to begin with. 823 kilobytes and it's compressed it down to 193 so that's 77% squished down which is great news for your website and then once you have done that you can download it so I'll download it onto the desktop and I'll just call this number two so we can tell the difference Okay, so if I open them both, this is the one that's been compressed and this was the original. And as you can see, can't really tell the difference. So even though it's compressing the file, you're not losing the quality, which is important because you want your pictures to look crisp. So that is my little tip for the day. If you use up your 20, so you can load up 20 images, and I usually you know, do bulk create things. Um, it'll tell you you've used your quantity for today. Then if you go to incognito mode and open the window again, you can still do it. So either you know, you're going to have to wait till the next day, or just go to incognito and carry on working. That's a top tip. Don't tell TinyPNG, I told you. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you did enjoy this, please you know, share it out to somebody who might need it. And come and check out the Wonder Mom Success Club, which is filled with tutorials, hacks, masterclasses, all designed to make your life easier. All right, I will see you again soon. Take care, bye.